नमस्ते व्यूअर्स वेलकम बैक टू नाना देगुला चैनल इन द एपिसोड ऑफ टुडे वी विल सी वी विल लुक इन टू द स्टोरी ऑफ ए माइटी पर्सन माइटी कैरेक्टर इन महाभारत हिज नेम वॉज भगदत्ता we will look into his story long long ago maybe around 5000 years back perhaps more than 5000 years back mahabharata war took place about 5000 years back so somewhere around that period 5000 years back in a far off place northern india and northern part of the Uh, north eastern part of india there lived a very mighty king named bhagadatta he ruled over a beautiful kingdom uh, called pragyotishapura pragyotishya it was this pragyotishya was known for its rich culture and breath taking landscapes beautiful agricultural lands filled with rivers mountains rivulets very beautiful and bhagadatta he was not just a king he was a warrior he was a great war atiratha they call it he was a warrior of immense power great power and courage he had lot of courage now long before bhagadatta's time his father naraka he too was a formidable king very of great valor however his story was quite different naraka was a wicked and greedy ruler who had earned the wrath of lord krishna those days people with evil and wicked designs they were all called as rakshasas and narakasura he was also called as a rakshasa so because of his wickedness because of his evil nature and he was very bad to the people of this people of his country lord krishna was against him in many aspects and then in a very fierce battle with krishna krishna had defeated naraka and brought an end to his tyrannical rule this was bhagatatta's father narakasura narakasura's story naraka's defeat that is the father of bhagatatta's defeat had a profound impact on his family particularly on his young son bhagadatta young son bhagavata bhagadatta was very young and of course he was able to understand and he was uh, very much furious about uh, krishna killing his father and bhagadatta grew up hearing tales of his father's defeat during uh, uh, he was hearing news of his father's defeat at the hands of lord krishna and his desire for taking a revenge he had a burning desire to take revenge against the krishna against yadavas as bhagadatta grew older he became a very fierce warrior and he had possessed lot of uh, strength lot of uh, ammunition all the things um, arrows bows arrows he was very strong in all uh, warfare and getting uh, having grown older his thirst for vengeance against krishna grew stronger against um uh, uh, his father's defeat you know it was always lingering in his mind 
he allied himself with the kauravas because krishna was on the other side that is that was on the pandava side he aligned towards kauravas to avenge his father's uh, defeat these kauravas were the adversaries of pandavas and this de- decision would change the course of his life he thought that on the kaurava side if he fought he would be able to win uh, on the battles for kauravas and then he would take a revenge also against the uh, other camp where krishna was uh, aligning uh, aligned himself in the great battle of mahabharata it began and bhagatatta stood along the kauravas ready to take on their formidable enemies that is the pandavas on the first day of the battle he engaged in a very fearful duel with the king of virata showcasing his incredible skills and bravery it went on for 2 3 days but it was on the fourth day that bhagavatta had his moment of glory glorious moment he raided the battlefield with his division and even made bhima great warrior on the pandava warrior pandava side pandava side faint by using all his powers you know he raided arrows he just fought with uh, his elephant army and then even uh, bhima was brought to uh, he was subdued however this victory was short lived for again bhima's son ghatodgaja ghatodgaja was also a powerful rakshasa having all kinds of uh, war tactics all kinds of uh, Uh, like you know he knew the art of uh, fighting from everywhere fighting from uh, each side yeah, from the air and all those kinds of striking from the air all these kinds of things you know he knew and with this terrifying illusion illusionary tactics in the warfare he sent bhagadatta fleeing in fear ghatok gaja was all in uh, fury and then he sent bhagavat bhagadatta fleeing in fear like this it went on the battle raged on and bhagadatta faced many challenges he had epic confrontations with warriors great warriors like abhimanyu satyaki but his determination to avenge his father's defeat never wavered he still had his anger and he wanted to destroy everything on the other side on the 12th day of the kurukshetra war the kurukshetra war went on for 18 days on the 12th day of the kurukshetra war bhagadatta faced his ultimate enemy arjuna arjuna was a very great archer and he was a hero among the pandavas their battle that is the battle between bhagadatta and arjuna was very intense highly with arrows flying and weapons clashing each other's weapons clashing in the mid air on the ground everywhere their arrows their um, like all his astras were clashing and they had a very fearful fight bhagadatta even unleashed the powerful vaishnavastra vaishnavastra was a very powerful uh, uh, weapon he removed from his stock and then fired uh, fired this uh, weapon against arjuna vaishnavastra but lord krishna guided by lord krishna arjuna was guided by lord krishna and uh, finally he became victorious in the war arjuna not only vaishnavastra kundu anything kundu anything to arjuna but later 
with a deadly arrow arjuna struck bhagadatta in the chest and the brave king of pragjyotisha fell to the ground he died on that spot arjuna respecting his fallen foe those days even if an enemy uh, was uh, killed they had great reference to those enemies because of certain qualities because of certain qualities they had imbibed in them likewise arjuna also respecting his fallen enemy bhagadatta paid his last respects by circling bhagavad bhagadatta's corpse lifeless body in a traditional practice called pradakshana he went round the uh, bhagadatta's lifeless body dead body and then paid his last respects to bhagadatta that was the kind of culture that was uh, there that, uh, that developed in the indian soil and that still continues even to this day once uh, some of the gunas which the others have it, 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 with all respect you know they respect that uh, characters they respect those qualities of the other man even in ramayana we see having killed ravana rama after uh, ravana died he goes there and then he pays his last respects he pays his last tribute to him praising him for his uh, Uh, bravery for his knowledge for his wisdom all the things that was the greatness even enemies used to appreciate each other unlike uh, these days after bhagadatta's demise his son vajradatta ascended he was uh, he became the king however fate had a similar ending for vajradatta also as he too met his end in the battle against arjuna soon after he also started fighting against this pandava troops pandava camp and then arjuna killed vajradatta also ultimately the uh, pragjyotishapura was subdued the story of bhagadatta and his quest for revenge teaches us about the power of determination power of determination consequences of the hatred and the importance of forgiveness if you continue to hate others the end is there is an end to this also it reminds us that the pursuit of vengeance often leads to sorrow and destruction while forgiveness and understanding can bring about lasting peace and so dear viewers remember the tale of bhagadatta the warrior king of pragjyotisha and the lessons it imparts it's a story of bravery conflict and ultimately the triumph of wisdom over vengeance so the moral of the story is anger vengeance hatred towards others is a very Uh, bad thought very evil thought and it ultimately injures oneself himself with this story we come to an end of this story viewers i think the story was quite interesting please please subscribe to our uh, channel like our video share and then please put your comments in the comment box thank you we will see again in the next video thank you viewers